Good morning everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I realised that I kind of left you a little bit high and dry at the end of the last capsule wardrobe video that I did. I sort of very quickly showed you a few new pieces that I've bought recently for my wardrobe and didn't really go into much detail about them and then I had quite a lot of questions like Jess, where are these pieces from? Where are the links? La la la. Um, so yes, I thought I would do a proper video on new additions for my capsule wardrobe for spring. I think the reason that I didn't go into much detail about the pieces is I always have this fear of not wanting to like show off, which I get. It's like just, I think it's just the way that I was, I was brought up, but I, like things go through my head, like, you know, no one want, no, no one's interested in your new clothes, Jess, like there's, you know, cost of living crisis, there are war, literal wars going on all over the world and you're talking to the internet about your new clothes, no one's interested. Um, so I talk myself out of sharing things and then it, it always comes back around and I have these moments where and I recommend doing this, by the way. I try and talk to myself like I would a best friend in my situation. And my advice to myself is always so different when I do this. And instantly I was like, well, what if the people that you found out about brands that you really like or people that have given you ideas, inspiration, what if they never made their videos and you never saw them? Would you have been better off for that? And the answer is, is always no. And also, you know, I was like, you should, you should do it. People like to watch these videos and literally they get like thousands of views. So they're worth sharing. So here I am making the video that I felt a little bit icky about making, but I, I do really want to share these new brands, these new pieces that I have added to my wardrobe because personally, I feel really excited about them. And as I said in my last video, I definitely feel like I'm in this period with my capsule wardrobe. And I do think it's very normal to go through these like roller coaster ups and downs with a capsule wardrobe where you want to change things quite frequently. And then there are periods where you don't feel the need to change anything for like a really long, a really long time. And neither is, is right or wrong. I think because I've moved countries, I am going through a period of change at the minute. And I'm also of this mindset of the time is now. Like now is the time. You, and again, talk to myself. It's like, you are young, you are living in Paris. You are living, you know, such an exciting life right now. Like now is the time. Now is the time to enjoy, to indulge, to wear what you want, to let yourself grow, let yourself change. So that's what's happening. So yes, there have been quite a few um, changes recently. I sold quite a few pieces. I did start a vintage account, which I told you I was going to share with you. I will leave a link to that in the description. But without further ado, let me get into the new pieces that I'm adding to my capsule wardrobe for spring. So we'll start with shoes. These are from a brand that features a lot throughout this update. This is a brand called Rouge Paris, and this is a new brand that I've discovered recently and fallen head over heels in love with. It's quite similar to Cezanne in style, I would say, but it doesn't have as big a range as Cezanne, but it very much has that Parisian, simple, but chic style at the heart of it. I love the quality of the clothes. I love the way that they fit. I spent so long in the shop and I kept going in and out, in and out, looking at these different pieces that kept catching my eye and thinking, oh, you know, do I really like them? Would they go with lots of different outfits? Should I wait? Should I not? And I ended up buying quite a few new pieces. So these are a very, small, very tiny kitten heel, black shoes with a point 
very good for petites. And yeah, I'm, I'm head over heels in love with them. I love, love, love that they are so finely tuned with my three style keywords, which are feminine, simple, and practical. I love the detail, the little bows. I feel like they're super feminine. They're so easy to wear. They're black, so they go with everything. They're very, very comfortable because they have the very small heel, which means that I can actually wear them out and about all day because I'm only five foot two. So anything that is gonna make me look a little bit taller is a big yes for me. And they do that. I love them. Second pair of shoes from a brand that I have bought from before. They're from Jonac Paris. Brand that I love, really, really nice shoe brand. They sell incredibly simple, but very classic styles. Like the black ones, I love that they have like a nice point at the front. Definitely makes me look a little, little bit taller. I like that they have a low heel because it means that they are super comfortable. These have a more sturdy heel. So I think I definitely favor these as a day shoe as opposed to a night shoe. And I love that they're in this really lovely, beautiful off-white color. So they're not too in your face. They're still quite subtle, but they're light. And I really do prefer to wear lighter colors come spring and summer because I find that they go better with like light jeans, you know, light sweaters, that kind of thing that I prefer to wear during that time of year. I have been wearing these a lot. Super comfortable. Love them. They, they've replaced the nude pointed flats that I used to have again because I just feel at the minute like I want to elevate my style I would say and make it more more feminine and definitely more polished and I love wearing heels at the minute I'm really really enjoying that so I want to lean into that so actual clothes wise I want to show you this you'll probably if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen this because I'm wearing it all the time. This is a little cardigan from Rouge. Again, I'm just going to keep saying this on repeat, but I just absolutely love it. I love how feminine it is. I love how delicate it is. I had a problem with my grey Cezanne cardigan, which I used to tie at the front for a, a more cropped fit. Um, it had a stain on it that I just could not get out for the life of me. It was time to replace and this is what that has been replaced by. I love the little detail. This is something that I really love about the Rouge brand that is different to Cezanne actually. It's more detail focused whereas I feel like Cezanne styles are probably a little bit plainer. I love the little rose detail on the buttons of this. I love the crop sleeves on this. It comes to like just around elbow. It feels so apt for a spring summer cardigan. And I love that it's cropped as well. It's really, really good for petites or just anyone, most women who want to make their legs look longer. It most definitely does that. I love where it finishes naturally. Um, I have seen it on the models tied as well to make it even shorter. And I think that looks really cute as well. I found that it has slotted into my wardrobe so beautifully, so effortlessly. It goes with absolutely everything. I'm wearing it with dresses and camisoles in particular, jeans as well. Yeah, just absolutely head over heels with it. Second piece is, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen this because I'm wearing it all the freaking time. It is a black dress slip dress, I would say, from Rouge. It has replaced my old little black dress that I've had for years and years, but that was a very, it was a more Scandi style. So it was oversized, it was very straight cut, really, really comfortable to wear, really versatile. I loved it. This, in terms of the way it fits, it's so much more feminine. It is so much more sensual I would go as far to say. I love the feel of it. I love the detail of it around the bust. I love that it has black roses on there because it's just it's just got that little bit of detail you know. This is why I love this brand. It's just it's so French in that it's got the details to make it special but it's never too much. It's never too out there. So yeah 
I, um, I love the rose detail. It's really comfortable. I think it's really flattering. I love that it has adjustable straps. That is something that I look for in all of my clothes because I find it quite difficult to find clothes to fit me because I'm five foot two. So off the rack clothes are not made for me. Um, but I am loving wearing this. I'm wearing it currently with heels. I think it goes with the black ones really well. I think it goes with the white ones really well. And I think in the summer, it will go with my flat tan sandals really well too. And the pink cardigan that I showed you complement this perfectly. Next piece is this trench coat. I personally find a nice feminine trench coat incredibly difficult to find because I find trench coats to be quite a masculine style traditionally which they are like the origins of a trench coat is that they were worn by British officers in the first world war they were not necessarily designed for women it's the likes of Audrey Hepburn that made them incredibly glamorous and stylish and, and popular I am always conscious not to feel too masculine in a trench coat this one from Rouge I think it, it's you know I put I put it on and I have this thing in my head at the minute when I'm looking for new clothes, like, is it a short-term, passionate love affair or is it a long-term lover? I put this coat on and instantly said out loud, this is my trench coat. This is what I have been looking for. This is most definitely a long-term lover. And that is how it feels. I've been wearing it all the time. I wear it with so many different outfits. I wear it with the likes of the black dress, like quite dressed up. It looks really nice. I like to wear it open. I like to wear it belted. I throw it on over my workout stuff when I'm going to ballet with trainers and leggings and it's so versatile and I love, love, love wearing it. It is, I think it's gonna be, you know, a new wardrobe piece that is going to be with me for a very, very long time. I love the fit of it. I love the material of it. I really love this light beige color it feels again very feminine very soft and very classic as well and i feel like it goes with absolutely everything i've been looking for a trench for a while tried a lot of vintage ones tried a lot of different ones around around paris but as always i'm quite brand loyal so when i do find a new brand and i like it I tend to indulge in it, I tend to stick with it, and I keep it very close to my heart and my brand directory. The last piece that I'm going to show you, I haven't even worn yet, so you've definitely not seen this, even if you do follow me on Instagram. It is a black satiny type material skirt from Cezanne, which has replaced, if you remember in the spring audit that I did, I said that the skirt that I used to wear all the time had a pull in it and I did take it to a tailor and they said no basically there is no there's no saving it it is time to go so this is replacing that ideally I'm not sure if I would have preferred the ivory color that they have in the skirt they have it in lots of different colors all really beautiful all really soft feminine just your very typical Cezanne kind of style I love that it's high-waisted. I'm. It's something that I can wear year-round. It's most definitely not just a spring summer piece. It will look really good with sweaters as well with more winter coats over it. I found that I had to size down in it. So if it is a style that you like, just know that I personally found that they run quite small but I will leave a link to all of the pieces for you. Um, in terms of shoes that I'm wearing this with, again, I do think it's a very, very versatile year round kind of piece. So I've been wearing it, well, I haven't been wearing it yet, but I'm going to be wearing it with boots, with definitely with the two pairs of heels that I've already shown you. And again, in the summer with flat tan sandals. Yeah, super, super versatile and a nice alternative to trousers I would say which I know not everyone is into um, but in terms of capsule wardrobe basics I feel like a really nice pair of trousers like tailored trousers or a really nice tailored skirt is a really good 
essential to have and this is my this is my new one very very happy with all the new pieces let me know what you think of them hopefully you've seen how versatile pieces that are very you know classic can be um one piece can give you so many different outfits if you're thinking big picture holistically about your whole capsule wardrobe maybe it's giving you a little bit of inspiration as well if we have similar kinds of styles let me know what you think of them excited to hear hope that you've enjoyed the vlog thank you so much for watching as always i think for the next capsule wardrobe video i might put together like a full spring capsule wardrobe for you and show you all different kinds of outfits like the pieces that I'm expecting to wear over the next three months for this season. Let me know if that's a video that you would like, if it's something that you want me to show you and I will, I'll make it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're okay and look forward to chatting with you in the comments as always and I'll see you soon. <laughs>